Hello? Anybody there? It's so dark. Oh, I guess I'd better turn the light on. Maybe that'll make things better. Hi, everyone. It's Miss Charlotte. Here's Miss Spider. She's been sleeping on my shoulder. That's where she likes to sleep. Miss Spider, come on. It's time to get up. The children are here. Miss Spider, come on. Come on. You can do it. Wake up, lazy bones. Wake up. Okay. Okay. I'm up. Oh, boy. Well, I hope you slept well. I did. I did. Can I tell you about my dream? Sure. Tell us about your dream. Well, I dreamed that I was climbing up a water spout, and um, then the rain came, and it washed me out. Um, but the good news is the sun came out in my dream, and it dried up all the rain, so I was able to climb up the spout again. Well, that's an interesting dream. It sounds a little familiar, like that children's song. No, 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 that was my dream. Okay, I believe you. Well, that helps remind me of the story I wanted to share with the children today. The story is about a young man named Jacob who had a dream that changed his life. That story about Jacob and several other stories about Jacob are found in the very first book of the Bible, in the book of Genesis, in the beginning. Now, when I was a little girl, I had this book. I still have it, actually. It's called Bible Storybook. And every night, my parents would let my brother or my sister and I choose a story to read before we went to bed. And I was looking at it the other day and saw, oh, that the story I'm about to tell you is here. And there's actually a picture, and I wanted to show it to you. The picture of the boy in the story, Jacob, and he's sleeping and about to have the dream that will change his life. Now, Jacob sometimes did things right and sometimes did things wrong. Well, this story is about a time when ooh, he really did things wrong. You see, Jacob had a twin brother named Esau, and Jacob tricked Esau into getting all their father's money and all their father's land. Well, when Esau found out, he was furious, and he said, I'm going to kill Jacob. Now, I know if you have brothers and sisters, sometimes you can get so mad you can say, I'm going to kill you, but in your heart of hearts, you don't really mean it. But Esau really meant it. He was going to kill Jacob. Well, Jacob's mother heard it, heard him say that, and she said to Jacob, Jacob, your brother is so angry at what you've done, you need to run away until a time when he calms down and you can find a way that he can forgive you. You ask for his forgiveness. Well, Jacob said, where will I go? And she said, you can run away to your uncle's place, your uncle Laban, but it's far, far away. And so she gave him a bag full of some things to take with him. I imagine it was some food and things like that. So Jacob started on his journey. He walked during the day and he slept at night. It took many, many days to get there. Because remember, this is an old, old story. And Jacob had nothing but his feet to get him where he needed to go. Well, on one night he was so tired that he laid down and he didn't have a pillow, but he found a big, round smooth rock and he laid his head on that boy I'd have to be pretty tired to use a rock as a pillow how about you and as he slept he had that dream in that dream there was a stairway going from the earth all the way up to heaven and there were angels going up and down the stairway and at the top of the stairway there was the light of God and the voice of God said, Jacob, you are a child of mine. All of the land that you see before you is yours. I will give you my land. Well, when Jacob woke up, he really believed 
his dream. If you're like me, sometimes I wake up and sometimes I don't even really remember my dreams, but sometimes I remember them and I think, was that real or did I dream that? Well, Jacob had no doubt that the God of the universe had spoken to him in a dream and had given him this sacred land. He gave it a special name. He called it Bethel. And he took that rock that was his pillow and he poured some precious oil because this was a special rock that would mark this special, special place. And so Jacob became a child of God and he went on to do many things and there are several other stories about him that you can find. I think there might be a link here. If not, there's YouTube videos about Jacob the dreamer or Jacob and his wives. You can watch those or read about it in the Bible and find out how many wives he had, at least, and find out if his brother ever forgave him. Well, thanks for listening to the story of Jacob the dreamer and how he had a dream about steps going all the way to heaven. That's it for our story, but it's not it for our time together. I think it's time for me to get out of bed, take off my bathrobe, get this day started. Sometimes I can be kind of lazy. All right, Miss Spider, let's get going. Will you all come with me to my craft room? Okay, walk with me to my craft room. Hope you don't get dizzy walking in here. Oh, hey, it's daylight. Look at that. I'm going to put the camera down. I hope I can do this without too much trouble, and I hope you'll be able to see my craft room. Miss Spider, you stay over here. I don't think I'm going to need your help, but I might just need your company. All righty. Now, to help you remember the story, we're going to make something called Jacob's Ladder. For this, you will need a piece of construction paper or even white paper, eight and a half by 11, that's your standard piece of paper. You'll need some scotch tape. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need a pencil and a ruler. Now, the first thing you do is take your ruler and measure two strips of paper. They should be one inch wide, and I'm gonna make a mark at one inch. And I'm going to make two because you need two strips of paper. Then you move your ruler down to the bottom of the page and make two marks. That's one inch, two inch. Now you take your ruler and line it up by those little marks that you made and draw a line. See that line that I drew? Okay, now we'll do the next one. Take your ruler. Put it by the top mark that you made and the bottom mark that you made. And there you have your paper with two one inch lines drawn. Now you need your scissors. You need to cut out these two strips of paper. If you are very small and really haven't had much experience with scissors, you can certainly ask a grown up or someone Older that's in your household to help you with that. Remember to keep these scissors away from little people who haven't learned about them yet. So we have two strips of paper. Now we're going to take our tape and we're going to tape them together like this, like an upside down L. I'm going to lay them down. I'm going to put one on top of the other. And I'm going to take a piece of tape. Let's see if I can move it this way so you can see it a little bit better. There, maybe that's a little bit better. I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to tape them. Then I'm going to pick them up carefully and make sure the tape goes over the top so that they're stuck together. So that's what it looks like. Now, you're going to start folding. Whichever piece of paper is on the bottom, that's what you fold up first. So, like this piece is underneath the other one, so I'm going to fold it first. You fold it up 
starting at the bottom. You line up the edges so they're nice and straight. Now I look to see which piece is underneath. Here this is underneath, so I'm going to fold it over real close to the other one, lining it up, pushing it down. Now the other piece is underneath, so I'll fold it over, rub it so it folds real nicely. I just keep doing that, folding whichever one is underneath, making sure everything's nice and straight, lined up. Here's another piece, and you'll notice that your strips are getting smaller and smaller and smaller as you fold, fold, fold. Now, what we're making here is called a Jacob's Ladder. Sometimes you will hear the story of Jacob a different way. Some say it was a ladder that went from the ground up to heaven. Some say it was a stairway. Doesn't really matter. Nobody was there to take a picture or write a blog about it. And making a Jacob's ladder is so much better than making a Jacob's stairway. Okay? Now, now I kind of ended up with a awfully big piece. I'm not sure how that happened, but that's no big deal. So at the end, I've got this big piece and this little piece, and I'm going to put them together, and I'm going to combine them with a piece of tape. So I'm going to get another piece of tape, and I'm going to tape them together like this. Oh, come on, you. Okay, I'm going to tape it together. And then I'm going to get my scissors, and I'm going to cut off this because we don't really need it. Cut off this little bit of extra. Okay, so this is what you end up having, something that looks like this. And when you open it, it twists open, and that's called a Jacob's Ladder. It's just fun. It's like an accordion. You know, you close it, and you know, it's really not useful. It's just a fun way to remember the story of Jacob, the dreamer who had a dream that changed his life. Well, Miss Spider, it's time for the boys and girls to say goodbye. Come back over, say bye to them. Goodbye, everyone. Careful on those water spouts. Keep on dreaming. All right, you be careful too, all right? Okay, everybody, thanks for being with us today.